as I was just saying to myself, mostly, uh, sorry, I'm a minute late. We're going to do our first mailbag, I think, with these kids. We didn't do one when they were super little, did we? I don't think we did. They're all sitting in their favorite bed, so I'm going to pick them up, and I'm going to sit in their favorite bed. Oh, here we go. I should probably close those curtains, too, for the same reason we do downstairs. But let me just take a look and see how we're doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like I probably ought to. Okay, I got to get back up for that. Kittens, I'm sorry. We're going to shuffle you around one more time. I know you're going to be so tired of mailbag before it even starts. Oh, my goodness. No. So, uh, while I'm getting that set up, let's talk about news. And what's new? Uh, today is adoption day for the last of Kahootie's kids, and tomorrow is adoption day for Kahootie herself. Very exciting. Uh, I know that the adopters in both cases are going to be wonderful people. So, um, other than that, though, not a whole lot going on. We took these guys to the vet this week because we wanted to make sure that uh, their mom is all right. And uh, I don't know, actually. It's hard for me to really decide whether she's spicier or not when she's had her meds. So that's the real, that's the hard part about sort of giving meds and trying to decide whether it's affected the behavior without having a solid test to tell you whether it's done something. Uh, what is going on there? Why does that look wrong? What am I seeing? I'm just seeing the wall. The wall looks bright. Okay, never mind. I guess we're probably okay, but let me check chat real quick to make sure the chat thinks we're okay. I mean, and not this is as good as the light's going to get, but uh, let's see if everything else looks okay. Hang on here. All right. No, I think we're good. All right. So uh, today's going to be a real short mailbag, which is why I decided it was okay to do it in here. And if you wanted to see uh, the goodbye wave from the, uh, the older kittens, that happened just a few minutes ago uh, downstairs. I did it, and it also got recorded as a close-up, uh, micro close-up. So that will be published in due time, as they are. I still haven't uh, re-automated the uploading of those, so that's on me. Uh, we got some really nice uh, new, well, I shouldn't say new to us, uh, definitely old and used servers. Uh, in fact, the same kind of servers that we used to use back when I had a real job doing that kind of work uh, from funny guy on uh, Discord uh, sent them to us and they've been sitting downstairs in the kitchen waiting for me to rack them up and uh, get everything installed on them. But that once those finally do get uh, in the, the cycle here, we're going to have so much more uh, resources to make sure that I don't have to keep apologizing for things that aren't automated that should be, uh, because the whole reason that those things aren't automated that should be is right now it's a choice between running them on a machine that's completely overloaded with other things, or my desktop, which gets rebooted and, and you know, two different operating systems and all kinds of other stuff going on. And my laptop, which is frequently disconnected or powered off. Um, so, uh, you know, there's just, there's no good places for us to, to run that stuff that needs to be automated. Um, but uh, now there will be, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think that's everything for news and stuff. And uh, there's no letters this week either. So we just get to jump right into the boxes. Uh, I didn't think I would have any sort of rambling going, but it seems like I got that covered already. So that's good. Uh, so let's just jump right in here. Again, I think this is going to be a real short one. This is... Uh, the return address says Phil's with a Z, Phil's Coffee, uh, with a PH and a Z, I guess. And it's addressed to Mr. Academy. That's uh, probably me. Uh, and I can pretty much guess what's in here. I'm guessing all of you can. It feels like about a pound of coffee. Uh, so I'm guessing that's it. Hopefully there's a note to tell me uh, how we got this, because I don't remember if I'm supposed to remember. It does seem vaguely familiar, like Phil's Coffee somehow. I know, I know Phil's Coffee, don't I? But I can't place it right now because it's early and I need more coffee. Oh, I've got more coffee, though. Huh, go figure. Phil's Coffee, one cup at a time, filtered sold, one pound of, ooh, uh, it says filtered sold, medium blend, ingredients, coffee beans, and artificial hazelnut flavoring. Well, I do like hazelnut coffee. That's one of my favorite flavors. So that should be awesome. I wonder if I can, I can't really smell it. It's pretty well sealed, which is good. So there we go, Phil's Coffee. I'm excited about that, but uh, as I guess, there is no note. All we know is uh, Phil's Coffee, Mr. Academy. 
Uh, whoever did send it, thank you very much for that. Double check. Nope, nope, definitely nothing else to see. Uh, still, I'm going to enjoy that quite a bit. This morning is a morning where I could probably use it, so uh, thank you. All right, I already had a couple coffees, and I meant to get another one ready before I came in here, but then I looked at the clock, and it was 10.01, and I panicked. <laughs> so uh, it is what it is. Uh, I was just saying before I started the recording, so if you're watching this and you're not live later on the archive, um, I was just mentioning how, uh, you know, I looked at the clock, it was 5 to 10. I'm like, all right, I got plenty of time. And then I looked at the clock again, it was 1 after 10 and I was late. And uh, that was just the way that I used to do every single meeting uh, back when I had a corporate job. Uh, I'd get a notification like 5 or 10 minutes before the meeting. And then by the time that 5 or 10 minutes had passed, I was just deep into something else and would be late to every single meeting, uh, no matter how many reminders I had. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, this says it is a Cat Wand Teaser Toy 3-pack with Buzzing Balls with Bell and Cat Springs for KA Deployment. Oh, for Deployment. Oh, uh, from Lisa for Kittens. Lisa for Kittens, thank you. Well, you say 3-pack, uh, but I think that refers, to, I see, that refers to the fact that it's a 3-pack. There's three different toys in here, but look at that. They all match color theme-wise. It's not quite a, a rainbow pattern, uh, It's uh, but it's colorful. It's like, a, I don't know what you would call this pattern, though. There's got to be a word for it. People who know these things, there's all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but we've got a spring that's one of those cloth-covered springs that is the same material. Then we've got a wand that has the long string of the material on it. And then we've got this thing that looks like a, well, like a nucleus of an atom with too many different kinds of particles in it. Uh, so... Those are going to be super fun, probably for these kids. It says for deployment, so I guess we can use it to play with them once they're ready to have something to play with, which seems like it's about now. They're starting to get good at playing with things and each other, and uh, these they love these little toys. I think these just came in last week's mailbag. There's a pig and uh, this frog. Or the, oh, I'm sitting on the pig. And they like these. They, they are perfect little kitten toys. They're cardboard with these little things that stick out the top. Very good. One of their favorite things so far. Uh, okay. Uh, Lisa, four kittens that was. Thank you very much. This is addressed to Beryl. That's you, buddy. To Beryl Thimbleful. Beryl Thimbleful. Easy for me to say. That's Thimbleful, not Thimblefool. Although uh, it's that's one of those things. It's uh, one of those sounds. It's difficult for me to pronounce correctly. Uh, and it says, I think it says it's from uh, Babel Glyph. Oh, let's see. Uh, is there going to be another note? Or just what we have in the return address. Oh, look, we have a micro cheese. It says cheesecake, I see, because it's like a slice of cheese. But I think that's probably a bad translation or a bad understanding of what cheesecake is because this is just a piece, a block of Swiss cheese, uh, clearly. Very cute and will look great with the cheese toy that they probably should have. And for some reason, the, uh, the picture here in the top is uh, beakers, uh, like like lab equipment uh, with a cheese that has been produced. That's, I don't have any, can you see that? Look, there's, a, I don't know what you call the flask there. There's two different flasks with glass um, pipettes in them. Pipettes? Pipes? Just pipes. Whatever. Anyway, uh, and then the cheese with some, right? You can tell it's just been created because there's these sparkles of newness uh, next to it. So I guess it's a lab cheese. Uh, who knew? Mmm, lab cheese. All right. And <laughs> what else have we got here? Oh, oh, what is this? This is one thing. Oh, it's the same brand, clearly. And uh, it says, oh, it's a hot springs pet bed. It is like a like a Japanese uh, or, you know, hot springs that, uh, like a bath, you know, like a hot springs bath, uh, which I'm super familiar with after playing uh, so much uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I guess. Um, because that's one of the key points is finding all these hot springs. Uh, this is so cute. So you can see it's got the, the like the tub here that I guess has a, like a towel or a bath rag on it. And then uh, this big blue must be water that goes inside or something. Hard to say for sure. Uh, but it will be very fun to get this out and see what's going on. It's perfect for, of course, the tubs. I see what you did there. Uh, because these kids are tiny tubs and this is a giant tub. That's going to be so fun to set up, and it's going to be so cute. I, I can't even imagine what it looks like once it's put out. So uh, I'm making a note here that we need to put this out sooner rather than later. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to put this away 
after mailbag, I think I'm going to put it right here. This must be a subtle clue that we'd like to deploy a cheese for them, um, which I would like to do. Uh, maybe, probably. Um, I don't necessarily feel like it has to be out for every class, but I guess it would be nice, especially since we have the cheese. We'll look into that, but that, that tub, for sure, they've got to have the tub, right? I mean, what else would they do? Good, good thinking there. Um, Babel Blood, thank you so much for that. Okay, moving along, we have, I think this is our latest monthly Dr. Pussum's Catnip. Um, and, it, well, maybe it's not the monthly, actually. This just says, thank you for your order. Is there going to be a note then? Whoops, to tell me what's going on. No? No, maybe inside there's a note. We'll see. If I can find how to open it. So these are some catnip pillows. The Dr. Pussum's brand is really good stuff. They're, they're not exactly local, but they are New England. So that's, you know, as local as you probably are going to find. <laughs> this is cute. It's three different pillows, red, green, and blue. So very uh, RGB here. Whoops. Okay, I'm just going to dump them out for a minute then since we already started. On the one side, it's got their logo in there. This looks like an old-timey, like, uh, sack, burlap sack. And then on the other side, this one says Mancoon Kitten. It's got a little kitten. This one says, I once tried catnip, but I didn't inhale. Oh, I know you like this stuff too. And I know, actually, this guy, DJ's commented a few times on how kittens don't usually like catnip. This one's just got another big, bad cat on it. Kittens don't usually like catnip, but this guy has uh, picked his, her favorite toy as this, which is also Dr. Pussum's catnip. It's part of their Christmas collection that came to us, and it played with it quite a bit. So did she. So we'll leave one of these out for her, uh, assuming there's no note to tell us to otherwise, and there isn't. Uh, the other two, I guess, we'll give around to the faculty. Is there a better color for you than that green? The green's not bad, I guess. You can have the green one. Um, anyway, Beryl uh, seems like she already likes catnip, which is very rare for a kitten. Uh, and it might just be that she likes the toy and has no idea about the catnip component of it. Um, but uh, it is unusual to see a kitten decide to play so much with a catnip toy, and she seemed like she was interested in those pillows. Although that also could have just been the fact that they were new and uh, just gotten out. Anyway, mom definitely is hugging this pillow with everything she's got now. Okay, well, you can have it. I'm not, I know better than to try to take a toy from you, don't I? Don't I? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't know better than to uh, annoy you yet. There we go. Perfect. I can't get a picture of that because my phone. Oh, too late. All right. Anyway, it's very good catnip. Uh, the Yao catnip is good stuff that you can get, you know, all around the country. But uh, Dr. Pussum's is at least as good and uh, real nice to support a little bit of a smaller business, uh, I think, you know, but, you know, it's all, it's all good. The cats don't care. Uh, they just they just like it all. It's all good. So, What are you two kids doing back here behind this box where nobody can see you? I don't even know what's going on. Okay, uh, thank you to whomever sent that. All it says is Pussum's, and I don't know if it was part of the regular monthly shipment, but I don't think so. That's a little generous for what they typically send monthly. Uh, so who knows? Okay, I think this is our one hand-addressed box for all of today's mailbag. Everything else has been drop ships. Uh, so let's do this one next. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay, that did not, that knife didn't quite cut it, no pun intended. There we go, now we got it. Wow, oh my goodness, what is this? It's so sparkly. It's like a sparkly uh, handmade bed. Okay, there's no note on that side. I got some of the glue from the package now on my hand because of the way I cut it. Uh, and for some reason, it just stuck right to my finger. That's gonna be hard to scrub off, okay. Wow, hey, these are some uh, fun ideas going on in here. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a note that I can see, though. Did it go somewhere? Oh, look at that. There's a mat in here, too. This is so pretty. Um, let's double check the box. Okay, there's no note, but there was uh, a name, which I believe is Terry Bear's name, I think. Uh, it's a Terry, anyway. We'll say that, Terry. And... Uh, this is obviously the, the little uh, blanket or mat that goes inside this wonderful bed, uh, which I guess you can fold around a little bit, and then you also filled it up with toys. Make sure there's no notes stuck to the bottom. Okay, I still don't see a note. So 
That's all right. J. Walter Weatherman's just going to have to be put back to work now. Uh, so here we have a whole bunch of very jingly little balls. These are so fun. Uh, the older kittens are crazy for the jingly balls already. You guys, I don't think you have a real jingly ball yet. You seem a little bit worried about what's all that noise, huh? Oh, but not too worried. You want to check it out, don't you? Here, why don't you come over on this side of all the boxes so people can see you a little better. Do you ever think of that? There we go. All right. Here, now check it out. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of jingly balls, as you saw. We've got these uh, the weird little candies, I guess. They all look like candy to me, I think, maybe. Uh, and then we've got, this is a fun idea. Uh, we have four um, uh, shuttlecocks. That's what these are called, right? They're like uh, for, um, they don't like, I mean, it's been so long since I've played Babbin. Uh, I don't, these don't look like regulation uh, to me. They look a little different. Something about the end isn't right. Uh, but uh, these seem like they are perfect for throwing around for cats. I don't know why I never thought of this. It would throw so well. And I bet that uh, Loganberry in particular might really dig it. It's kind of like the worms that we can throw around and bounce off of walls and stuff. So he might, he might really dig it. Now this one, uh, I only know that she plays with toys at all from seeing it on the screen, just like all of you. I've never seen her play with a toy in front of me. Um, she just likes to keep that uh, secret about herself, I guess, on the down low, but we all know. So uh, I don't know if she's going to go for any of these toys either. I wouldn't necessarily expect her to, but maybe she will when we're not looking. And this bed is so beautiful. I love the little sparkly threads that are interwoven. I don't know how well the camera picks that up. And then the bold black and white ge ge geometric pattern. Ge ge geometric. Yes, uh, three times the geo in that geometric. Um, that's, uh, that's really pretty stuff. I'm giving credit to Terra Bear because I think that's right, and I'm probably not right, but there you go, Terra Bear. Thank you so much. And uh, let me know on the chat uh, what the note would have said if there was one about what you'd like us to do with that. Uh, oh, 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 let's see. Is there a note? Oh, Ginger Cat Lover made by Dr. Brew. Wait, what? Oh, well, then that came to us in a strange way with no note. Wow, I, that's how, I don't know how I was supposed to know that. Okay. Well, in that case, let's give credit where credit is due. Uh, Ginger Cat Lover, thank you so much. And Dr. Brew, wow, you have really um, come a long way in this hobby of, of uh, knitting that you've got going on. Knitting? Yeah, that's knitting, right? For some reason, my brain cannot keep knitting and crocheting uh, straight, but this is definitely uh, crocheting. Yes, no, there we go. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm changing my answer. Uh, anyway. Uh, that little owl that you made is still kicking around here somewhere. I love it. The little blue and yellow one that's either uh, Ukraine colors or uh, Fallout colors, depending on your uh, preference there. Um, anyway, this is this is huge, and it's so well made, too. I'm, I'm just super impressed. So, Ginger Cat Lover, thank you so much for sending it, and you are going to have to let me know on the, uh, the uh, chat. Uh, I sent you a DM this morning. Oh. Well, I haven't checked my DMs. Uh, in fact, I, according to the chat, I, according to Discord, I have over 100 DMs to check. Sorry about that. So uh, doo -doo. I guess that's it. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I forgot to add the note. And yes, okay, that's the right Terry. Got it. Okay. I knew I knew the Terry, but there's a couple Terrys, and I just can't keep names straight. That's so hard for me to do. Uh, so Ginger Cat Lover, uh, you are the, the Terry in question. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my apologies for trying to give credit to the wrong person. And Dr. Brew, Brew Dr. Brew of Brew Cats, uh, thank you very much for making it, too. That is amazing work. Uh, and then for the toys, I'm going to pack them up for now. And this, I don't know exactly what to do with it. But here's the thing. Uh, I think we're going to lose a couple of our nice beds today. Uh, because I'm planning on sending that blue marshmallow bed that the kittens downstairs are found sleeping in so often with them. And there's also a matching rainbow marshmallow bed in the bedroom that they also like to sleep in that I'm probably also going to send with them because, uh, at least for the rainbow one, we already have a replacement. Uh, so it's hard not to want to send it with them since they like it. Uh, so those two rainbow beds are going to be gone. That gives us plenty of room to bring in uh, something new for maybe the house. Unless unless you wanted it specifically for these kittens, in which case, just let me know. And I uh, would be glad to do that, too. But I feel like um, one of the faculty might really like this. 
We'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I say faculty, but you know, you put it in any of these rooms and it gets used by the kittens once they hit that stage of going all over the house too. So, uh, like I said, just uh, let me know if that's not the right thing to do with it, ginger cat lover. And thank you very much for now. I'm going to collect the rest of the toys that have to go somewhere else in it. How about that? Okay. I'm glad we got that straightened out uh, during mailbag. This one is from Joy F. Oh, man, my fingers are going to be, like, irritatingly sticky. It feels like, like, tree sap or, like, one of those things that gets on there and just won't, you know. Anyway, um... That's for, that's from the uh, the seal on the the USPS. You know, the people are blamed for that, or me for not cutting right. Oh, this is from Joy F, and I should have guessed what it is. It's probably the replacement for the I Love Dogs blanket that came, which I love. By the way, it's actually on the bench in the bedroom right now uh, because it's it's it just cracks me up. The I Love Dogs thing. Were you running away from all that great thing? This noise is really good practice for you kids and see your mom be so chill about all the noise. And you playing with your little frog here? That's super cute, too. I told you it's a good toy. All right, so Joy S., this one does say, okay, first off, the, the little sticker says, I love cats. Let's see if the blanket itself says, and look at this, isn't it? Oh, it does, yes. This time we got it right. Okay, well, now we've got so many blankets with pictures of our kids on it. That's so sweet of you. And you can see it's got a lovely photo of Ari, and here's Maggie, and there's a bright green-eyed Eddie, and here's Custard on a dark background, and... Uh, what else have we got here? That looks like a little custard, or is that one of the, I can't tell when we're upside down. And of course, uh, Loganberry there. I know, I think that's custard in the, the uh, little uh, pumpkin hut. It's not a pumpkin, but you know, like a gourd or whatever it was. What was it anyway? Uh, and then at the bottom it says, K.A. Professors of Moob. I love cats. Yes, it does say cats. All right. Well, it's not as funny, but it's definitely sweet and wonderful. Uh, Joy F, thank you so much for this beautiful blanket with pictures of our kids on it. I am still so impressed at how well they can print on blankets now. Uh, uh, we've already washed the other one once, and it still looks great. So it'll be interesting to see how well they hold up over time, or if they get all kind of faded and lackluster. Um, but right now, it is bright, and the colors are bold, and it's uh, so impressive what, what we're able to do with modern technology, isn't it? That's just lovely. Thank you so much for sending that. Uh, okay, just a couple more boxes, actually. Like I said, it's going to be a real short mailbag. So, let's see here. I know. Oh, I know you're scared of all the crinkles. Don't worry. Pretty soon, you're going to be a crinkle fighter. I know you are. You're going to love it. You're going to be running for that, and you're going to jump in it like a, like a tissue bit. Just play with all the crinkles. Okay. Uh, Joy F. again, uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, you really, I, you know, you didn't have to uh, go for the replacement, but I guess on principle, that was a nice thing for you to do, uh, you know, just uh, for, for the sake of making sure that they get things right. And then also, uh, now we've got even more blankets. So thank you so much for that. I, I do like the one that says I love dogs with all the pictures of our cats on it, though. Uh, that's never not funny. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking for all the notes. Let's make sure we got them all. I believe we did. Okay. So these notes say, next size up pom-pom balls for smalls, 160 of them for KA deployment. Yes, these do look like the next size, uh, one size beyond the regular tiny, tiny pom-pom balls that we get. That could be fun. Uh, and then um, I always thought it would be funny to get like a whole set of balls in different sizes. And then uh, as the kitten gets older, you just switch out the ball. So he it just grows with him and he, he doesn't even realize. Uh, and um, it, I mean, it, it's, it's funny, but it, then the joke never really pays off because the, the cat can't express its amazement with that. It's just the way things are, right? So uh, it's cute though. Anyway, and then you also sent, interesting, uh, Oh, oh, these are actually maybe the bigger balls that you were talking about. So these are both these are two different kinds of larger balls. This is also a different set than we're used to. This is a uh, Fashions Talk. I know that brand because they make that that kit of cat toys that we see sent so often. It's wonderful. Uh, but these are little fuzzy pom pom balls. They're they're like fake fur, but they are very convincingly uh, furry. That's awesome. I'm going to leave one of these out here right now. Uh, yeah, here, there you go. We'll just leave one out right now, and the rest of them, this is great for deployment to fill out endowments with. It's perfect. You say use as you see fit. And these are both from 
Lisa for kittens. If I didn't say Lisa for kittens, thank you so much. Those are great. Uh, that whole box of these little, these, wow, that fur is so silky. Uh, I mean, you can tell it's not real, but it's, uh, it's very convincing. It's very nice. That's perfect. Ooh, somebody's a little gassy in here. Is that one of the kids? Oh, we just had our first poop and you did it in the box. What a terrible place to go. Come over here. Oh, and you're a huge mess too. Let's see if you can finish that in here, okay? Wow. It's like, oh, somebody's gassy. No, there we go. That's a milestone. You're not going to finish it in here? No? Okay, okay. Well, let me know. Oh, now you're going to wipe on the floor like a big cat? All right, well, hang on. I got to help you clean up now. I, I know. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, that smells bad. Oh, my goodness. At least everything's working. Is that what you were yelling about all morning? You wanted to poop and mom wasn't going to help you? Oh, now, now. Settle down. Settle down. I know. You're like, what just happened? This has never happened to me before. Okay. That's your litter box, kid. Well, there's a way to make mailbag go a little bit longer. Let's have a giant mess right in the middle of it. A giant stinky mess. Yeah, so I'm talking about you, you giant stinky mess. You know, the kids are looking at this stuff in the cage like, what did you do? Did that come out of you? Uh, all right, so... Oh, and pee. Wow. Okay. Well, that wasn't everything. Okay. Well, we got the litter box right here. This is a who knew? Who knew this? Let's go with that. Hang on. Let's just clean this up a little right now. This is all going to have to go. Hang on. Hang on. Let me put this right across in the laundry. One sec. Cleaning supplies happen to be right out there in the hallway, so this is a good chance. Oh. Oh, there's still a little bit of poop there. Don't go in the box now. I just sprayed it with stuff. Okay? Let's not go in there until I clean the stuff. Oh, oh, whoa! She was being very shouty this morning. I wonder if she was trying to tell us that it was time for her to poop. Okay. Good. Let's take all those wipes and put them away. Should have saved one of those poops and put it in the litter box. That would have been a nice clue for them. Lay me out. Oh, uh, I didn't bring a new blanket for that, did I? Okay. Okay. We'll get one in a minute. For now, I'm going to sit right back down. Well, kids, we know you're pooping now. Now we got to learn where to poop, okay? That wasn't quite it. Probably wasn't the worst choice ever, but that wasn't quite it, was it? No, it was not. I'm going to have to start showing you kids the litter box a little more often. Does anybody else want to try right now? Let's see. Come on, you, buddy. Let's try this. What's this? Want to try? No? How about you? You look like you're thinking about it. You smell that poop. I'm surprised you weren't the first, Feral. I thought you would be. You're so out. Hey, ah, 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 ah. That's not helping me. That's not how you help me help you, okay? All right, one more box. Let's do it. <laughs> it's cute that you wait until after I've cleaned everything, and then you're like, all right, now I can attack and how he's done. <laughs> Okay, wow, this is a big set of cat toys, and it says, Enjoy your gift, Merry Christmas, Maggie, the cat, and friends. That's so sweet. 
from Jody Lynn and my two kittens and three cats. Wow, Jody Lynn, thank you very much. Well, it came a little bit late for Christmas, but what a set. It's 34 pieces, and uh, the chart says that it includes, here, I won't take it all out because I won't get it all back in yet. Uh, it's got a rainbow teaser wand. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, there it is. Ooh, wow, that's not what I expected either. Is that it? Oh, it's got, oh that's right. <laughs> now I have to look at some of these things. It's got a couple wands, actually. I don't think it, oh, I see, teaser wand, worm refills, oh, telescopic wand. Oh, that's the good kind, too. Where's that at? Okay. There it is. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's got a wands. It's got balls. It's got springs, fluffy balls, plush feather balls, jingle bell balls, crinkle balls. The spring tubes are fun tubes. It's got a bag to put it all in. Oh, so I can't take it out. It's got what it calls a cat tunnel, but it's clearly a picture of a pod. Let's take a look here. We can put that in there. So uh, here's the pod, which is a house shaped pod. It looks shaped like, like a house, but I'm not gonna pop it open quite yet. That's why it's got the rods though, that need a little extra support to be a house. Oh, it's got this adorable little catnip cat. It's got a bag of the classics, all the balls and mice that you could want. Uh, the uh, telescopic wand. Oh, this is an exceptionally short telescopic wand though, which is nice. Uh, almost pocket sized. I like that a lot. That could be really good. But it's also the uh, the fiberglass kind that we like that is basically indestructible. It will last a long time. Perfect wand. Uh, then we've got silver vine. Look at that. Silver vine. A couple springs were loose. I guess I can leave a couple springs in here for these kids who haven't had springs yet. They're old enough for springs. Uh, this is another wand that's all just wrapped around itself. And this one is another wand that's got a whole bunch of ribbons on it. That's a great set of toys. And as it says, there's a bag to put it all away in. That's nice. A little bit of storage there. So I can pack it all back up without trying to fit it back in the original bag. How about that? So that was from, um, oh, let me get the name right. Jody Lynn and the five cats of various ages. Thank you so much. That's the same number of cats that we have. Uh, I, think, I think it's a couple too many for us in general, but, uh, you know, that's a, it's a good way to remember not to, not to fail any more fosters, I guess. Uh, all right. Thank you all so much. That was mailbag. It was short. How much time did that take, I wonder? Oh, 1034. Wow, not much time at all. And that's with all my rambling and the poop incident. Uh, nice job on the poop incident, by the way. How clean are you now? You, oh, you still got a little bit of poops back there. Can I clean you up some more, maybe? Hang on. We'll do that. I'm going to clean her up. I'm going to get everything out of here. We're going to re-blanket that box. And uh, the mailbag will be officially over for real. Then I've got to spend some time. I had breakfast this morning. So that's a nice start. But I've got to spend time getting all the papers together and uh, all the endowments up for the kids and the cleaning house. Uh, thank goodness I've got a lot of time to do it. It's going to be probably five or six hours before the adoption. So it gives me plenty of time to get that stuff done, which is a real nice feeling. I didn't get enough sleep last night either, so uh, if I do get it all done, maybe a nap. Uh, it seems unlikely that I'll take a nap before the adoption, but uh, maybe after. That's that's what I can look forward to. So there we go. Okay, let's clean you up just a little bit more. I know you don't like it, but I know. But who's going to do it? You're not going to do it, are you? Well, you might. You might do. You might do, but I'm going to take care of this time. I know. I know. Well, you'll learn how to do that. You'll learn how to do that all better. Oh, it's the worst. I know it's so bad. This stuff I'm doing for you is terrible. It's terrible. Tell your mom. Tell your mom. She'll make sure that I suffer for it. I know. I know. Okay, okay. Let's check now. How do you look? You look pretty clean to me now, kiddo. I know. That was awful. You hated every minute of it, but you're still very cute. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, let's get you some blankets for your box. Hi, kiddo. What are you doing? Nobody's taking the litter box tack yet, huh? All right. Well, soon I hope. What you, how did you do that? How did you wrestle that whole spring down? Oh, good work.
I'm going to put this up in the corner so that it's not in the way. But hopefully I keep seeing it up here until we put it out. Very cute. Nope, where are you going to go, Barrel? You going down? Well, not yet. I didn't really check this blanket to see if it was going to be wide enough. Well, maybe only if I put it sideways. Might be like that. That kitten with the glasses is pretty cute. I'll be able to put this where you can see him. I'm going to open this back up, too, by the way. This is a little better when this is open. He's so cute. What a cute blanket. I like that. All right. There's a little extra clip up there. Where did that come from? Probably did it with the napkins. Clean that up too. Oh, look at that. There's nice all wipes in here. Yeah. What are you smelling for? Did you make that place all poopy? Now you're disappointed that somebody cleaned it up? I just have no appreciation for your vision. You just smell all the cleaning products underneath the blankets? Is that it? What's all the snippies about? Okay. 
Well, I think that's it. Uh, thanks again to everybody for everything, especially, uh, especially I think, to Little Cistern for the poop. Very nice of you to bring something in the mailbag. And uh, I'm going to end the archive here. I'm going to go take care of all that other stuff, and I will see you guys later. I can figure out how to turn this off anyway.